BF, 29 male, staying over at my, 31 female, house for multiple days. How to politely get him to leave? We've been dating for 8 months, at least half long distance. My, 31F, BF, 29M, just came back from his 3 month vacation to his home country. He moved out of his rented place before his vacation and left some of his belongings at my home. The previous room he was staying in was furnished. When he went for vacation, he told me he will be moving into a room with a roommate once he is back. He is back for 5 days now but no talk about moving. We never spoke about us moving in together. He been eating my food, using my body wash and kinda made himself comfortable. I asked him if he was hoping to live together and if so, it's something we can discuss. He looked upset and sad. He says he needs to buy a bed to move in his new room. Don't know if I did anything wrong and hurt him or I am a mean person. I am worried about people using me. He may be trying to sneakily move in. You didn't do anything wrong. He can sleep on air mattress at his place if he can't afford a real mattress, assuming he has a place to stay. What you have is commonly referred to as a hobosexual. I have a feeling that no matter how you deliver it, he's not going to like it and your relationship is probably going to end if he's feigning being upset at your line of questioning. It's also not your job to subsidize his standard of living while he gets a bed. I would actually double check whether he does have a new place and roommate if I were you. I don't think he's actually planning on moving M. He's already using you. He's sad because his plan to sneak into your apartment without paying or talking about it isn't working. Sit him down. Discuss a reasonable date to move out by, I'd say 7 days, or if he wants to stay, hash out the financial plans to do that. Tell him he needs to be out by a certain date or he needs to be paying half of all expenses. We all need our own space. Just firmly ask him when he plans on moving into his new place and if he needs help finding a bed. He's a hobo sexual and also probably labor digger. Let him know you will start charging room and board, it's not fair for him to go on vacay for 3 months then completely mooch off of you. Would he put up with it if you did that? My, M26, boyfriend took my, F25, card without asking to buy weed, at what point do you walk away? Context for why I might be so frustrated, my, F25, boyfriend, M26, quit his job 4 weeks ago, and since then it has been very rough. There have has been a lot of resentment on my end, building up and even though I see here about him going to interviews. I don't feel like he's doing everything in his power to get work, because he is so tied to the idea of working with his field and not open to any temporary position or part-time job at something that is below his pay grade even if it means financial stress. This being said, we have been a little strapped for cash, and last week he lost his wallet. Though most places take Apple Pay, I did let him use my card this morning to buy dog food. He told me this afternoon that he was going to buy weed and neglected to tell me until he was on his way that he would be using my card. The money is not so much the issue, since he did pay me back but it is that he didn't give me the opportunity to say no, and that I could see how much he spent dispensary. He spent $150, and big picture while this is not a lot, I didn't have enough in my checking account. And got a notification that he had overdrawn. This felt embarrassing not having enough in my checking to cover a simple $150. It also made me confused how he could spend what potentially could be grocery money for the next two weeks on weed as well as not even bothering to ask me if it was okay to take my card over state lines. It is a buildup of a lot of little things, but this feels very deliberate, a complete lack of consideration for me. I did explain to him that it is a boundary that I was not comfortable with and he got defensive and said, okay sorry. I would have appreciated hard to apology for not thinking about it, or even considering the financial stress. I have felt since he has lost his job, but this seems like a very clear indicator of the pattern that has been occurring over the past few weeks. My question is at what point do you walk away from a long-term relationship when you are experiencing neglect and a lack of care and consideration? Edit. He had a job lined up, it fell through. This has happened before. He always pays me back when we exchange dollar, it's the lack of asking and more telling than the dollar issue. I told him at $120 it would overdraw, at that point I couldn't say no, I'm frustrated because there are lots of positions, Amazon, Home Depot, grocery stores, that hire fast and loose but he won't budge outside his profession. So, he quit his job without having a new job lined up, then he took your card and caused an overdraft fee and didn't bother to apologize for it. Never mind that weed is a luxury he cannot afford if money is tight, $150 is a lot of groceries. I'd say it's time to walk away right the hell now. Or if he still owes you money, get that, then drop the bomb. Jobless druggie who steals. You wasted your time even typing this post out in my opinion op, he should be eradicated from your life minutes from now. I'd break up with him literally right now. He's a jobless loser pothead and now he's stealing money from you. Run girl, run, right now. He is irresponsible and won't change. I promise you, leave now.
You're young, you'll meet someone else. Smile. You walk away when your boyfriend steals your card to buy weed. How long have you been dating and living together? He completely violated your trust and deliberately didn't ask. Additionally, he selfishly spent if on recreational drugs and not necessities. Meaning he took money not his, bought product he couldn't afford, just for himself, completely unnecessary and unproductive habit. And with no regard to your financial well-being or personal trust. Trust is an intimacy. Knowing you won't violate it is important. You can't build a life with someone that you can't trust. He's also saying that he cannot go without drugs. He has an addiction. I, 32F, my boyfriend, 27M, can we build a life together without first living apart? I, 32F, have been with my boyfriend, 27M, for about a year, and recently he suggested that we move in together. While I love the idea of his taking that step, I told him I'm hesitant. The reason? He's never lived on his own before, and I think it's important for him to experience that before we move in together. Right now, he lives with his parents and two younger siblings. His mom takes care of most of the household tasks cooking, cleaning, laundry while his dad works. It's how their household has always operated, and I get that it works for them. However, because of this, my boyfriend hasn't really had to do much in terms of housework. He'll occasionally help out, but for the most part, his mom handles everything. I've noticed that when he comes over to my place, he's not very comfortable doing basic things like cooking or cleaning up after himself. It's not that he's unwilling, he just doesn't know how to do a lot of things because he's never had to. When he brought up moving in, I told him I'd prefer if he lived on his own for a bit first, so he can get used to managing his own space and responsibilities. This led to an argument. He felt like I didn't trust him to pull his weight if we moved in together and took my suggestion as a sign that I didn't really want to live with him. I tried to explain that it wasn't about that I just want us to be equal partners when we share a space, and I worry that right now, I'd end up taking on all the household duties because he's not used to doing them. He got upset and said he would learn if we moved in, but I stood my ground. I told him it's important to me that he has some time living independently before we make that commitment together. Since then, he's been distant, and I can tell he's still hurt by the conversation. I don't want him to think I don't see a future with him, because I do. I just want us to be on the same page about responsibilities when we get there. I'm not sure if I could have handled this conversation better, and now I'm wondering if there's a way to find a compromise without either of us feeling like we're sacrificing too much. How do I make him understand that this is about building a stronger foundation for our future together? I mean, why wait to learn to pull his weight only after you move in together, when he could do it right now and give his mom some slack? I think you're being very wise in making sure that he lives alone and demonstrates an ability to run a household before you move in with him. His immediately leap to defensiveness when you brought this up shows as a warning sign for me, since he doesn't seem to be listening to your concern or offering alternatives, like taking over housework at his parents' house. This strikes me as a sign that he's likely to make promises that he either won't or can't carry through on so far as this goes, and your worry about you ending up doing it all is not unfounded. Sit down with him at a time when y'all aren't emotional and go over it, see if he's willing to ask his mom for help learning to do housework and take over some more chores there. You handled it perfectly, and you are correct, if he doesn't live on his own and learn how to do things, he will not be a good partner for you. In truth I think that he has no desire to learn to be an adult, and he is angry because you've called him out on it. He could be learning how to do chores right now to help his mom, if he were any kind of responsible adult he would already be doing it. But he feels entitled to the free labor of women. He knows that if he told you this you wouldn't stay with him or let him move in. But I promise you, he wouldn't change his ways all of a sudden just because he moved in with you. Let him be distant if he wants to, but I would hold your ground. And I would reconsider a relationship with somebody who gets angry with you for having boundaries. If he was really intent on learning how to do those things, he wouldn't wait until he moved and he'd be helping his mother right now. He'd also be learning from his mother, these things. I think you are right to stand your ground on this. I am side-eyeing him for being 27 years old and not taking an active part in the house upkeep. Nothing is stopping him. He shouldn't be sitting around watching his mom do everything. And worse yet, he actively refuses to do anything when he comes over to your home. You don't really need any other signs that he is not ready to live with you and pull his weight as a partner. Also, women, train your sons better. Mine is 19 and there's only us two in the house. I hate housework so we both do it by mostly cleaning up after ourselves as we go. I hope if he lives with a girl in the future he won't be a burden. When do I, 24F, tell my partner, 23F, about my inheritance money? I, 24F, and my partner, 23F, have been dating for just over 6 months now. I know it is still early into the relationship but I'm so sure she is the one. Everything about our life plans and worldviews align so perfectly and we haven't had even a disagreement let alone a fight in the last 6 months. 
but we've both talked about how we would handle a fight and again we both immediately agreed. A couple years ago I inherited $80,000 when a relative passed away. Obviously not enough money to straight up buy a house but more than enough for a house deposit. I'm wondering when is the right time to tell her about this money? Once or twice I've mentioned I inherited some money from a family member and that allowed me to have the funds to move cities but she never asked for more details and I never disclosed how much. We've started talking about plans to buy a house together in the future and start saving for one and I feel like she should know that I already have a house deposit but very few people know about this money, only my two closest friends. Too long did not read. I inherited 80k and don't know when I should tell my girlfriend of 6 months. I am more concerned that you are discussing buying real property with someone you've only been dating 6 months. Not 6 years, 6 months. Meanwhile don't tell her until you have an actual reason to. Right now it's not really her business? Slow down. If it's meant to be, you have time. Have that first fight. Talk about kids, ailing parents, politics. You don't it has only been 6 months. Don't tell her. 6 months feels like a lot in your 20s but it's not enough time to really truly know a person. My grandmother always said you must know a person through all four seasons to truly know them. If you are really hell-bent on purchasing a house with her, let her save her half and you contribute your half when the time comes, but it's not her business where the money came from. As far as she should know, it's money you saved, which isn't a lie. $80,000 is really not that much money and you'd be amazed at how fast it can disappear with home ownership, think home maintenance, repairs, etc. It has only been 6 months. You don't. Also, it's way too soon to start talking about buying a house together. Slow down, chica. Don't les you haul this. 80 grand is more like savings in the long run. This is no trust fund money. Keep it to yourself and work on living off what you have salary-wise. Don't use this as some dangling carrot. 